Okay, welcome back. So we're going to do another video now on the factor theorem, okay? So it's not specifically on factor theorem, it's going to be examples using the factor theorem now, but it's the same, say, we'll say general topic, okay? Um, so we're going to be talking about mostly cubic equations here. Okay, so a cubic equation is something with x to the power of 3. So we'll say x to the power of 3 plus 2x squared plus 7x minus 10, okay? Just as a random example, I picked that out of the sky. So now when we're talking about cubic equations, uh, there are going to be three different types of cubic graphs we can get. So we know that a quadratic graph, graph is going to be a U like that, okay? Let's get rid of that. So, But a cubic graph is going to look like this. Okay, so that's what a cubic graph looks like. So if you if you graph all the points on this, it's going to look something like this. Okay, so there are three different types of cubic graphs we can get. They all have the same general shape. So this is number one, let's say. And then uh, I'll just draw another one here. This is number two, um, like this. Okay. Number two, and then I'll draw number three down here in red. Okay, so if we look at the three different types we have, we have either there are three points of contact, okay, so or three roots, let's say. So that's remember, a root is where uh, a curve hits the x axis, so that's the three roots in this green one here. There are two roots, okay, and then in the red one there is only one root. So they say there's only one real root and two complex roots, so there are two imaginary roots, but again we'll get into that later when we do complex numbers. So only one, one root here, three roots and two roots. So they're the three different uh, types of cubic graphs we can have. Also just to make one little point, so these are all cubic graphs that are positive, so it's always the x cubed anyway is positive, okay? So the number before the x cubed. However, if we had a negative number before the x cubed, okay? So if it was negative x cubed or minus 3x cubed or whatever you want to say, uh, I'll draw that over here. It's going to look like that, okay? So it could look any, like it could, there could be one, two, or three roots, but just the idea is that it's, say, kind of backwards. This goes from up to or from down to up this goes from up to down okay so that's just what a negative one looks like so i'm just going to say negative x cubed for this one here okay that's what that kind of graph looks like um yeah i think we'll actually i'll, I'll make one more point and then we'll leave it there we'll just skip we'll wait to wait to wait for the next video for the example okay uh so this if you'll notice there's x to the power of three okay and there are always three roots. So even though I said there's so there are three roots here, there are only two roots here, but technically they say there's one root and there's two roots here. It's the same root repeats twice, okay? So that's just the technicalities they go into. There's always going to be three roots for an x cubed. And for this here there's one real root and two imaginary roots. So again they always kinda they always go on about that, that there's always going to be three roots. So imaginary roots we'll learn about later. So again if we have something to the power of Four. I'm not going to write the whole thing out. It, our graph is going to look something like this. Okay, so they say here there are four roots. So in this case, there are two roots that repeat twice again because if they hit, so just pretend that hits there. Sorry, I didn't draw that perfectly. So again, they say two roots that repeat twice. Uh, if I'll do this in red, you can do it properly. Here there are four, there are actual four roots, okay? So it always depends on the degree of the polynomial. That's the fancy way of saying what the highest power in our uh, kind of equation is. So this here is the power of four. There's going to be four roots in it, okay? So that's the point I wanted to make, and we're going to look at our example in the next video. Thank you.